Hey everybody, Dark Young Link here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we beat the game, and this time I'm gonna show off some bonus stuff. Starting off, a very much known thing is that in the title screen, you can play with Mario's face, which was one of my favorite features as a kid. And you can see, even in the N64 days, Mario had some weird nose physics. Which stick today in Super Mario Odyssey, which is going to be a lot of fun. And now I too can do the Mario thing. Yahoo! It's -a me, Mario! I can't do good Mario right now, my voice is too shot. Swing your arms from side to side. Okay. But yeah, you can just play with a lot of Mario's body and it just goes back to normal. You can do a lot of creepy stuff too. But, enough of that. Here we have our 120 save file, and I have a save file here that we'll go to later. So, if we go to our 120, we can come over here and see that this, ow, that the cannon is now open. Which we can now use to get to the top of Peach's castle. And up here we have three lives, a wing cap, and Yoshi! Mario, is that really you? It has been so long since our last adventure. They told me that I might see you if I waited here, but I'd just about given up hope. Is it true? Have you really beaten Bowser and restored the stars to the castle? And saved the princess? I knew you could do it. Now I have a very special message for you. Thanks for playing Super Mario 64. This is the end of the game, but not the end of the fun. We want you to keep on playing, so we have a little something for you. We hope that you like it. Enjoy the Super Mario 64 team. And Yoshi gives us 100 lives. And by 100, I mean... 99 because it caps at 99. Oh no, it doesn't, and it's actually 100. I don't know why I thought it capped at 99. But yeah. And also, we now have a weird little uh, jump. I, I, I don't know why. It doesn't do anything? Oh crap. The only thing it does is that it prevents fall damage, if I remember correctly. So we're going to test that now. Yeah, it prevents fall damage, so you can fall from any height, and it gives you a slight double jump. Why? I don't know. Does it do anything? No, not really. I mean, we already beat the game. There's really not much else to do. I get they like when they say it's not the end of the fun. They they lie. It's it's pretty much over from here. But we can get the wing cap. Wow. Like I was saying, we can get the wing cap and fly around the castle, which is. Pretty cool. I mean, I won't lie, that's that's a pretty cool thing. This waterfall over here is where you end up if you die in the hazy maze cave thing where with the um with the green block. And really there's nothing else to show. I remember a long time ago I remember reading that you could get the wing cap and like jump into that and you'd be taken to a secret course. That was a lie. It doesn't do anything. But really, uh, that's all of that. So, I'm going to restart the thing and I'll be right back. So next on the list is we're going to go to my test file, which only has 14 stars. But, um, but I did use, um... A cheat to get all the keys 
just so I can get to the top level without getting all the stars. Or without getting 30 stars. And I'm going to show you some cool uh, speedrun strats. Because, like, I really love doing this. Like, I felt when I first found out how to do this, I was, like, so happy. The only problem is that it might take um, a little bit of a few tries. But who knows, I might be able to get it in one go. No. Like, I'm sure everyone and their mother has seen this trick done. But I'm still going to show it off just be, just to, uh, complete, just for completion reasons. And just, just show it off. I keep hitting my head. Oh, I almost had it. I haven't actually done this in like... Uh... At least a few months. Not since I started the project. I tested this out to see if I could do it way back before I started this series. And... I could do it. Ugh! I keep getting close. Ah! <sighs> oh, so close! Ah, there we go. Finally. Like, it's really hard if you haven't done it for a while, but I got it. And another thing I wanted to show you was if you got to here, to open this door that leads to the endless stairs, you need 70 stars, blah ha ha. So, I love this. You can see the screen is kind of clicking, and that's because it's to show that we aren't going anywhere. If I, get, I, I can't get the camera behind us, but like, see, it's doing that thing. And like, yeah, we can't get up there. But if we do this... Okay, not that, but I wanted to see if that would work, because that would have been pretty cool. But if we do this, the thing we just did... Ugh. You can glitch it out, and you can reach the top of the endless stairs. But if you go too far over, you, um, you neglect it, and it sends you back down the stairs, I think. And this music still plays. Which, this music scared the crap out of me as a child. I, I mean, it was creepy. So the last thing I have to show you is what happens when you beat Bowser without, um, without all the stars. So I'm gonna cut to when I beat Bowser. See you then. And Bowser is once again dead. No! I can't... It can't be! You've really beaten me, Mario. I gave those troops power, but now it's fading away. Much like my voice. <coughs> Arr! I can see peace returning to the world. I can't stand it. It's not over yet. 
Come on, troops. Let's watch the ending together. Bruh. <laughs> and with that, to my knowledge, that is everything that I have to show in Super Mario 64. The ending does not change except for what Bowser says. But other than that, Peach's dialogue... I was about to say the Toad's dialogue. The Toads don't get dialogue. But Peach's dialogue is the exact same. And the ending is just pretty much the same. So, with that said, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this bonus episode. I tried to show off as much interesting stuff as I could. Because I really like doing bonus episodes of stuff. It's really fun. I hope whatever ga other games I play, I get to do more bonuses in the future. But with the princess saved once again on a file with only 14 stars. Like I said, I could probably speed the run of this game if I really, really wanted to. I, mean, I probably never will. But with the princess saved twice in a row, this is a good place to end the series as a whole. So thank you guys for watching Super Mario 64. If you like it, subscribe, which I don't usually say, but I'll, I'll be bringing you more stuff real soon. What am I going to play next? I have a good idea, but I'm still not 100% certain if I'll do it, so we'll get there when we get there. In fact, I might even do an Arcadia next, because I've still been neglecting that series. So, until then, I've been Dark Young Link, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.